हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए न्यू लाइब्रेरी ऑफ जावास्क्रिप्ट वेयर बेसिकली यू कैन एक्सपोर्ट योर एचटीएमएल टेबल टू एक्सेल फाइल सो दिस लाइब्रेरी इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सेल जेएस सो लेट मी शो यू द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन सो वी हैव थ्री कॉलम्स आउट देयर नेम एज एंड ईमेल सो वी हैव थ्री रिकॉर्ड्स हियर थ्री रोज ऑफ डेटा एंड वी हैव अ बटन आउट देयर सो इफ आई हिट दिस बटन यू विल सी दिस एक्सेल फाइल विल बी डाउनलोडेड and if i try to open this excel file in microsoft excel this file will open here you will see that and we are using excel js library for this purpose so if you just type here on google excel js this is the name of the library it also has its own node js module command is very simple npm install excel js but we will be looking at how to use it inside the browser so i have given all the source code in the description of this video so you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code for downloading the file as an attachment guys we are using file saver library which basically downloads any sort of file as an attachment inside browser using blob object so you are using file saver library so now let's get started so just basically make index.html file right here and we will basically have a table and we will be giving an id to the table so that we can target in javascript so this table can be you can just make this table here like this we have three headings name age and let's suppose country here and then inside table body we will have the data table data tag so we can basically repeat this three more times and then we can have here so we have three entries here inside the table guys you will see that now we also have to have a button so we just need to export this uh, table so we will have a simple button here so we will gi give it an id to this uh, sorry on click listener so when we click this button what should happen so we will basically execute a function guys which is this function export to excel automatically so we can basically give it a label export to excel so whenever user hit this button now we need to define this javascript code but before that we also need to include the cdn of both these libraries which is excel js and file saver you can go to the description and copy paste these cdns so i have already included this and now we will write basically our javascript so the very first thing we will define is the function which is export to excel so right here first of all guys we will basically get the reference of the table we have given an id to it so we will pass that id table and then we will make a new workbook we can use this library which is excel js it contains a function which is workbook which basically creates a brand new excel sheet spreadsheet workbook like this and inside this we will create a new sheet of data inside that workbook it contains this method which is add worksheet as it's not capital so we can basically define here user data the sheet name so after you define the sheet name guys it's we need to basically add the header row and this we can say worksheet in order to add a row we will use the add row function and here you will pass empty row for now and then basically now to get the header cells we will basically say html table and it contains the this method which is get element by tag name so we will basically extract all these headings which are defined here th 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 so we will extract all this so we will use a for loop so let i is equal to 0 i less than header cells dot length i plus plus 
so here you will simply say guys header row get cell and you will say i plus 1 dot value and here you will simply say header cells i and we will say inner text so what it will do basically it will export all these headings right here and uh, now to basically add the actual table data that we defined right here three these three rows of data so we will now define this so for doing this it's very simple we will again basically use the same logic first of all we need to get the rows of these so we'll say get elements by tag name so now we are getting uh, again using the same function and now we will target the table data tag instead of th we will target these so this will return all the elements which have this td tag attached to it this will be an array so once again we need to use a for loop so we will say for let i is equal to 0 and i less than rows dot length i plus plus and then we will simply say we will basically rows i get elements by tag name td so we will get the cells here and then we will define the row data to be empty variable we will say for let j is equal to 0 j cells dot length j plus plus we will say row data and we will push this entries inside this cells j in our text and then we will simply at last we will push this data add row we will use this function row data so now we simply need to download this file as an attachment guys so now it's over so now for this we will basically say workbook xls write buffer we will basically convert this to a buffer and this returns a callback function and here we will need to convert this into a blob we will say a new blob and basically here we will pass the buffer and here we need to specify the type so type basically guys this will be this whole thing let me provide it this is basically mem type of every image file there is a mem type so for every excel file there is this, this is actual mem type which is application slash vnd so this you need to provide guys after you do this we will simply use the file saver method which is save as and uh, basically we will pass this blob object simply pass this blob and then the file name so we can call this as output.xls that's all this is your function guys which will basically export this table if I click this you will see output.xls will be generated and if you see user data is basically the sheet name and if you see here name age country is been exported but the column names are not exported so I think guys I have made a mistake in writing the code so I will simply copy paste all this source code you can go to the description of this video to copy paste all the source code let me write this javascript function again click sorry i need to change the table reference name because i have given different id to the table so id is table so we need to change the id of this to table just change it and let me also change the sheet name to customer data so you will see that customer data is the sheet name and you can see name age country all this data that we define in the table has been successfully exported guys you will see that so in this way you can use xljs library to do this process all the source code is given in the description of the video